it's it, 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 it's it's been one of those days. Wild. <laughs> Wild. Amazing. And, you know, Vibes. we have come to the close of Miami Carnival yes. 2018. I'm and sad. It, it, I wanted to talk because I, we spoke last week. I spoke to this gentleman, good friend of mine, John Beckford from the Miami Carnival Committee. And we spoke at the Kitties Carnival. Yes. The start of it all. So it's only right I say, you know what, we need to close off with John at the end of the carnival. Yes. You know, so John, I, for last. just give a little piece on who you are and your part with Miami Carnival. Uh, oof. First of all, let me apologize in advance because my voice is just about shot. Okay. And, 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 and uh, yes, shouting above the music, emceeing the whole nine yards. I've got very little voice left, but I head up uh, marketing and sponsorship for Miami Broad One Carnival Host Committee. And I got to tell you, I'm super proud of the team that I have. And uh, by the looks of, you know, the crowd wow. mm -hmm. yes. on from the mass band stage, from the dance hall zone and from the me mega concert stage, I think we had probably the highest attendance in probably 20 years. So the best turnout. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, 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 and listen, not to sound cheesy, but <laughs> I, I, I got to give some credit to you guys at the end of the day you know this relationship that we started and embarked on uh, this year obviously I've seen the payoff I've seen the dividends because if I look at what we did from a marketing standpoint and sponsorship yeah. because you, you also contributed in that area there's a big difference and yes. a big jump mm -hmm. like I said I haven't seen the final numbers but just from looking out at the crowd just from hearing that parking was sold out full wow. at 4 p.m. Last year, 7 p.m. after 7 p.m., parking was still available. Okay. There was no parking after 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Nowhere. 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 You know, Miami's the biggest carnival in North America. The largest carnival. Well, you yeah, know. Yeah, we can say well, that. You can yeah. say yeah, that. You, you can take that. You can take yeah, that credit. Sure. Oh, you, you can take that credit. I don't want to listen. New York. Is no. them saying it to no, I say it. I be like saying it. I'm from it. New York and I'm saying it. I said it. All right? I them. am saying it. Okay. I, I am saying it. I pay all respects to New York. New York is my largest market. Okay. And we in love the New United York. States. We love so, New York. I Even listen, New Yorkers will tell you. Miami Carnival wouldn't be Miami Carnival without New Yorkers. Yes, sir. Y'all big up on yourself. John Beckford thanks you. The board of directors thanks you. This year's success in 2018, besides FRP TV, and the rest of the crew, and world cast, and all of that. New York, but and Miami. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now, John. I mean, celebrating. Uh, well, we we could close off with the competition because we had a competition on yes. on the on the live on the on the people watching on the stream. Oof. We had uh, a competition where we say, um, you know, bus a wine, and then we had a question was all right in 2019. How many years would Miami Carnival be in existence? Okay. So do we have a winner? Uh, we have a winner. Okay, who's our winner? Uh, no, we, we have we have a winner. We, we're gonna definitely think and pull our winner of the thing. So I okay. uh, because we said the first person, so we're gonna go back and make sure it's the first person. But Miami Carnival been in existence for thirty four years. Next year being thirty thirty five. What it is you guys have in store? I mean, me and you, we spoke, but yeah. I know there's certain things you can't let out, but give a, a, a brief on what it is that folks can look out for for the 35th anniversary of Miami Carnival. Wow. I, I think all we need to do is double down on um, what we've accomplished this year. Uh, like I said, I truly enjoy the partnership and the relationship that we've embarked upon yes. um, you know, with you know, FRP TV. And um, you know, we just need to double down on what we did, and um, I think, you know, the 35th year will be epic, you know. I don't know how we're going to top 30 artists, and we have to turn artists away, you know. Tal Pri, sorry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and a, no, no, I mean, there were six people from St. Lucia. It was just unbelievable. The, the buzz this year, uh, I mean... Every artist wanted to be here. Every artist, right. not only did they want to be here, they wanted to be on stage, right. right? Nobody looking for a paycheck. It's like, hey, I need to touch the stage, you know, so... I think maybe what we need to do next year is um, start the stage show earlier, you know, uh, so we can accommodate, you know, because if we had over 30 this year for the 34th, imagine for the next, 35th. For the 35th. So 
we probably need to, you know, book enough space to have 40, 45 artists, you know, on stage. And, and big uh, up Kip Rich. Yeah. You know, that's the man responsible for bringing Kip Rich. And Thank you. Boy, I got to tell you, the crowd went crazy. And then, and then and then we Infused bought a surprise. Like that, right? yeah. And then we bought a surprise on a, a surprise yeah. that, that linked me and said, you know what, D-Lap, I need to touch that stage. And I say, you know what? I got Kip on stage. We're gonna make it something happen. We're gonna make yeah. it something big. And so big up to Safari. Safari yeah. came through. And, and I brought him up on stage. The and crowd he, went wild. Way nuts. wild, not nuts. Oh my goodness. You shut it down for yep. sure on stage. No, man, it was, it, it was, it was incredible. Yeah. And, and, and John, just a little brief on, on what you're doing. I know apart from the Miami Carnival community, you have your own campaign because, you know, I, w I want to touch on that because you're a good friend of mine and you, you, ha you have your, your campaign that you're working on in terms of what you're doing. You want to tell us a little piece, of, a little something about that? Yes, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we're switching gears, switching hats. I, uh, I don't want anybody on the board to rough me up, um, you know, but I've been calling Lauder Hill uh, home for, you know, the last 15 years. And um, of the four signature events that we put on, it's, um, you know, by no surprise that three of them are in Lauder Hill. Right. right? That's the Junior Carnival, Juve, King Queen Individual Competition and Panorama Competition, you know, so it, 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 it's... It's a city that's on the move. It's a city that I like to always say, you know, take a closer look. Because a lot of times, Lauder Hill gets, you know, in the news for all the wrong reasons. Uh, and I've been solutions driven over the years. And so come November the 6th, you know, I, I toss my hat in the ring. And uh, hopefully the people will uh, elect me their next, um, you know, city commissioner for Lauder Hill. And we wish you so. all the best on that. All the best. You know, I can't vote in Miami because I'm not a Miami resident, I'm a New York resident, yeah. so I can't vote. No, but if you spread the word, if, if I spread, if the, word, spread the word, like, oh, he spread the word from Miami, Miami Carnival. Yo, how with, these numbers? With the success that we had this year, I win it now, November. Put <laughs> 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 on some shirts, Commissioner Beckford. <laughs> all right, so fully endorsing. I'm fully endorsing. Now, part there of the thing you, you spoke about, was with the Kitties Carnival and it, it, what you guys did with the stage and the whole presentation from Kitties Carnival, you know, and now with, with Panorama, especially the Kings and Queens, putting in, you added stuff like putting in the stage, yes. the elevated stage, the yes. lighting, and, and the, the, the response was, was incredible. Was when incredible. people walked in and they saw the setup for the mm -hmm. Kings and Queens and the Panorama, people was like, wait. Yep. Yeah. Because before it used to be flat on the ground, and if you yeah, if you're a pan yeah. enthusiast and you 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 be, you you grew up in a culture of pan, you know that you know when you listen to pan, like when you go Trinidad and Panorama, mm -hmm. it needs to be up on a stage, right? And you guys, what and was and plus having it on the grass, you know, it kind of dampens right. you know, the sound. So having this stage where they roll on and roll off really, you know, made a difference. So it's you know again, it's all about improving. It's like the set that, that we're in here. Uh, you know, last year, year before, we didn't have an interview, you know, set right. up like this, right. you know, for media. And, and uh, you know, I want to thank uh, Karel Chang and her uh, folks over at Vintage Events. Excellent job in, uh, you know, making sure the, the uh, decor in the uh, media tent and the other tents here backstage, you know, was really first class. Uh, you know, for me, from a marketing perspective, it was very important to make sure that we um, showcased ourselves, you know, in high taste and high fashion. Uh, because we were streaming, you yeah. know, saying for the first time, uh, definitely the first time under my leadership, you know, uh, in marketing, and, and so I wanted us to look, you know, extra special, extra good, and um, I think we accomplished that. Yes, you definitely did accomplish you, that. You definitely accomplished that, and I want to commend you and the entire board, Joan, Yvette, Mario, and all the other members, T yeah. TJ, and you know, all the members that yeah. you know. I, I have Sydney, an opportunity. To, yep, uh, Marlene. Yep. Keep calling uh, because yeah, if you leave yeah, out yeah. anybody, when you start to call names, Ray I say Raymond, everybody, shout them out. <laughs> Catherine, Carl, Dallas, Nick Jack, Gilda, Swayze. Know that I said it right. Mario's always say Swassy, and she's like, you know, Mario, it's Gilda Swayze. So she represents Belize. And that's another beautiful thing of the board. You know, I, I'm Jamaican. You know, Dallas is from Antigua. Gilda is from, um, you know, Belize. Of course, we have, you know, the side of Trinis and thing. Uh, Joan, our president uh, and board chair, is from uh, St. Lucia. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, that, that infusion of, of, you know, bringing us all together as one. I mean, we heard several artists sing about that on stage. Yeah. Oneness, unity. Kes 
sang yeah. about it. Yes, big up you know? the kiss. And uh, yeah, that was a phenomenal show. Let me tell you. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, as I said, I don't know how we're going to top 2018. I don't know. 2019, yeah. I, I, I think it's, you guys have a lot of things in, in, in the works, so I just can't wait on my end once I get the green light from you guys to start yes. doing what I do in terms of getting it out there. So, you know, I just can't wait. Miami Carnival 2019, 35 years. It's going it to be It's definitely going to be something epic. Yes. So, it John, in, in closing words, anything you want to tell the folks... Anything you want to let people know and, and, and your gratitude towards my, from Miami uh, Carnival you know, and the whole committee? Stay tuned. I mean, you know, really stay tuned. I want to thank uh, the Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, the presenting sponsor for Miami Carnival 2018. Uh, you know, along with our carnival partners, uh, Cayman Carnival, Batabanu, Donna and the crew, back in Al Jamaica was up here. Wow. Uh, you know, they sent a delegation of eight. And, uh, you know, we've worked with Antigua Carnival in the past. Uh, you, you know, big up um, Barbados. Yep. You know, uh, Petra Roach. Yes, big uh, up know. the Petra. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah you I know, saw her last uh, night. I, I, I can't come on, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, interviewing and not mention Petra because I get licks for that, right? right? You know, but I mean, you know, they sponsored, you know, Stiffy, Peter Ram, and King Bubba. King Bubba, yes. Uh, you know, so it, it's really, you know, that collaboration with our partners, our stakeholders, and I really want folks to. Visit the uh, you know website you know MiamiBroadCarnival.com. Click on the sponsors. You know, look at who's supporting our culture. You know, what I'm saying who's embracing. Because at the end of the day, you know, I'm not going to mention the brands, but sometimes you know you see people taking pictures with a product that guess what? They're not writing us a check. Right. You know, and and so for me, it's like this year, you know, Jack Daniels came on board, which is big. Yeah. You know, so you know the the, the um. Honey Tennessee was the official whiskey for Miami Carnival. They made a special drink. And so, you know what? I tried Gentleman's Jack. Wow. So, for me now, I'm going to say, okay, Jack Daniels, you know, wrote a check to support Miami, Miami Carnival. Carnival. I'm going to drink Gentleman's Jack. Yeah. And I'm going to leave it at that. And I, and, and I think, you know, as we go into 2019, I ain't going to call any names. But, those, you know, the companies know who they are. You know what I'm saying? We spent a lot of money on beverages and, and, and food, and I would definitely want to see, you know, from a uh, sponsorship standpoint, more companies um, respect the culture and respect the value that we bring because they're certainly um, seeing it in the profits that they make, uh, you know, as shareholders. So and, and, that, and, I'm coming off my platform now. <laughs> and, 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 and the fact that you, you said that, you know, we here at FRP TV, along with Hype TV and WPG10, was able to broadcast Miami Carnival. Actually, we are still live through the Caribbean. throughout the Caribbean, right now on cable, and we also stream live. We're still live? Oh yeah, we're still, still live. live. We're still live because yes. we're here. We needed I, to close I, out with I, you. I, I thought you guys were going to, like, you know, Play this back. record this. No. I, I have, I, I've gone past the 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> Had I known... <laughs> Yeah. In high definition, I must look grisly, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, listen, when you have um, King Queen individual competition and panorama on Friday, you know, ends at 11, and then you got to be right back at the stadium for 5 in the morning for Juve. Listen to me, Juve. And then, and then uh, you know, Carnival today. Um, it's, it, it, yeah. it's incredible. And I, I, I told Latoya this, that yeah. Juve is one of the fastest growing events for Miami Carnival. Yes. I don't think... And honestly, thinking we only going to put all them people next year because Juve. I mean, you saw it, it epic. yesterday. It was I mean, epic. it increased numbers with Juve yeah. also. Yes, you know, I, we we probably had a good forty thousand people. Wow. Yeah. In, you know, in the in the park, and, and plenty more that wanted to get in that just wow. couldn't get in. Just couldn't get in, you know. So. And can you estimate how many people we had today in Miami Carnival? Listen. Y'all stop jumping over the fence, okay? I have bills to pay. <laughs> oh, people would... <laughs> <laughs> so, when I count the 15, 20,000 people that storm the gates and jump the fence and they either go over the fence, under the fence, I tell you what, next year, I'm going to get some dogs, right? <laughs> and let them look. <laughs> <No. laughs> you know, Caribbean people are afraid of dogs and horses. Yeah, right. me, me, me. If you get the police with the, on the horse, boy, everybody straighten up one time. <laughs> Right? And if they see the, 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 the policeman with the dog, oh, yeah, they straighten up one time. No, but no. I think people but, need to uh, understand you know, that they need to support the culture. Right. 
it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It, it, they need it, to support right. the culture. I mean, and I know it could be a little pressure. You're standing up online, you're lying long. There's a reason for the line being long. I mean, they want to search everybody. They want to make sure everybody's safe inside. Right. And like I said, Miami, Juve had zero incidents. Zero. Knock, zero, on, knock on wood. Knock on but wood. You know what? Zero incidents. Everybody gets searched going in. Yep. And Carnival today it's had zero, zero incidents. incidents. Zero incidents also. So you're talking over 100,000 people inside the fairgrounds. Zero incidents. Zero and that, incidents. And yeah. that is something I need to commend in Miami. Um, and if you thing. add up the numbers for the four days, I mean, yep. you know, you, you, you're talking in excess of 150, 160,000 people. Yep. Besides the folks that pass out, which comes with the territory. Yep. It was really, you know, fun, safe. It, it, you know, we, we embrace the culture. We're preserving the culture. Right. We're advancing the culture. And, and we just need those corporate partners to really step up and, like I said, respect who we are and what we do and, uh, you know, stroke the check and uh, make this thing get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. All right, John. Well, yes. thank you, sir. No, no, uh, thank you, thank thanks you. for joining us, John. Yeah, nice I mean, I'm going to close off with John here. Um, yeah. Lawyer, Latoya, I'm going to let you go first, ladies first. Oh, my gosh. Being your first Miami your Carnival. First my Miami very Carnival. first Miami yes. Carnival. I'll define it in three words. Amazing. It was epic. And it was one of the greatest experiences that I've ever had in my entire life. Especially in this environment. Like, I got to meet so many of my favorite soca artists, you know, getting treated VIP, eating good food, stewed chicken jerk, chicken curry, right, chicken, right, vibes, right, right. real nice, Have good me music. Have out until four in the morning. You know, I had him stay out until four in the morning. We went to two fets last night. It was amazing. I had a great time. So, so yeah, <laughs> I want to thank you for, you know, picking me, Pick, choosing picking, me to be your co-host. It wasn't hard. It was amazing. it was hard, John? No, no, no. Yeah. As they say, <laughs> it was a no-brainer, okay? <laughs> it was a no-brainer. <laughs> and, and I want to commend you, too, for accepting and, 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 and coming forward because, I mean, from what you did, yeah, and what, and what you did coming out the box, especially in the field that you're in, coming out the box and doing this, you know, she was, she was saying, oh, My I'm, first I'm time. Never, first time. I'm live. Never, you wouldn't believe it was her first time. But it, it's just like the Lakers, you know, you, you put somebody like LeBron, like myself, you know, and you, you got a good team, you're good. You, you're good. You don't have to How was your them. experience? Yeah. My experience? Yeah. I mean, people know that I don't miss a Miami Carnival, whether I'm working DJ-wise, whether I'm, I'm, I'm here hosting, or I do not miss Miami Carnival. I am a Carnival jumbie. Yeah. All right? But my experience this year was one of the most special because of... Everything that's going on. I want to especially thank my team, FRP TV. I want to thank our producers, you know, Peter, Darren. These are guys that behind the scenes, they are sat down behind their whole night and, you know, doing their thing. So I want to commend them. I want to thank the entire FRP family from all the camera guys, all the guys that you guys don't see standing behind there. I want to thank Fanella. I want to thank Clinton. I want to thank, you know, I, I could go on, I, but overall, the team, Chanel, everybody, everybody that's doing, even the part of the team that's back in New York, because I'm going to show you how big the production was. We was flipping um, footage and actually cutting it up and then back in New York and sending it back here and, and you know, just major wow. production in real time, in, in real time and in making real things time. happen. So yep. I want to thank the entire team. And also I want to thank Hype TV yep. in Jamaica for putting us in over 22 Caribbean islands and we are still live on cable so shout out to Flo and all these different cable networks that have us live right now through Hype TV also WPG10 in, in Grenada, Grenada. PD Caracu and that, that entire region there for allowing us to, to, to broadcast so That's on behalf great. of all of those folks right? and then yeah. also for all the folks that downloaded the WCL WCL engagement app yeah. the app does not stop when Miami Carnival stops just so that you know we will be giving you content and keeping you engaged even way after Miami Carnival as we get you ready for Trinidad Carnival. Wow. So I want, I, once again, I want to thank the entire team. And it, it was definitely yeah, one of my favorite things. I also, I want to pick up Jason to our production chief. I can't forget Jason. I mean, Jason worked right through in terms of um, Edison, everybody, for, for making it all possible. So... You know, if I stay here and I call all the guys' name, I'm going to tear up because these guys are really <laughs> special to me. Yeah. You know, these guys are, he are, are 
like all hours of the morning, two, three mm -hmm. in the morning, we grinding in the studio. So I, I definitely want to thank these guys. And they're still going. Yep. Wow. You know, for definitely making it possible. So dream on work that makes note, the dream work. Yep. yep. On that note, I want to thank you, the viewers, everybody out there. Uh, we, we couldn't have done this without you. Because if you weren't watching, we wouldn't have nobody to show this to, right? right. So we want to definitely thank you. And we hope you we were able to bring a quality program in that you definitely enjoyed. Right. I knew it was long. It was over, what, 12 hours? Yeah, today. <laughs> and we had, you know, from... But yep. it's so worth it. We had the producers from the stations in Cable Language. They say people are watching throughout. People are not switching. So, you know, it's carnival. Yep. And, yep. you know, yep. we was able to bring a lot of stuff. Shout out to all the artists that we interviewed. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all the artists that we didn't get a chance to interview yeah. because it was so much. And also shout out to, to the entire Miami Carnival Carnival Committee that allowed me to sit in, in a couple of the, it allowed me to sit in a couple of their meetings. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, hey, speaking of which, you know, I, I, I need to put some cameras in there next uh, year. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Because, you, you know, I need to put some cameras the in there. We, we have that Young Leaders um, yeah. yep. Committee and, and uh, you know, Patrick said to uh, us, he goes, you guys will be millionaires in three years if you put a couple of cameras in the office and wired a few of the uh, board members because <laughs> what we go through, you know, throughout the year just to produce this, uh, you know, thing that we call Miami Carnival that we love so much. Uh, and um, th th there is so much content that you can garner if we were being, you know, followed and mic'd up, you know, for every board meeting, operational meeting, uh, you know, marketing and sponsorship and PR. You know, we meet weekly, uh, you know, from like February right back you know, through today, and so it, it, it's, we have a lot of fun, yeah. we do work hard, and, um, it, you know, it, it, it's, uh, I think today is really a very, very um, proud moment. Yep. I think we can really look at, you know, 2018 and say, wow, you know, we've, well done, done. we've done well, you know, job well done, yeah, I, almost want, I almost said mission accomplished, but we know that's uh, not... <laughs> still growing, still going. We're still growing. All right, so on that note, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We are going to sign off yes, now. Yes, thank you so we, much. We, all right, we will be seeing you soon. And yep. footage of this Miami Carnival is going to be also available. The, the, the Carnival Committee is going to have a lot of, of information in terms of people getting actually footage and um, in uh, rebroadcasts of everything that's going to, and also on FRP TV. So we're going to be running a lot of the stuff over so people that, that missed it. Also, I want to congratulate, oh, I almost forgot. Lauder Hill. Oh, the yeah. Panorama Champs. Steel oh, Ensemble? Yes. Uh, definitely congratulate to them. It was one of the best pan renditions right. I heard in a minute. It came first. It made, actually, it made me jump out of my yeah, seat. Yeah, he went nuts. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it was. So, uh, so, on behalf of that, yours, we will be signing off now. We will see you guys at a carnival near, near you soon. You. And remember to log on to frplive.tv and log on to Miami Carnival. Follow them on Instagram. And you'll get all the info. Yep. Take so, care. Instagram real quick uh, and Twitter is M-I-A-B-R-O Carnival. Facebook is Miami Broward One Carnival. And the website is MiamiBroadCarnival.com. So on behalf of my beautiful co-host, Miss Latoya Forever, I am DJ D-Life. We will catch you at a carnival near yes. you soon. Take we care. Are out. Have a good night. <laughs>